Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We got the Bludgeon Brothers. We have the Bludgeon Brothers and a couple of packages. This one right here, I believe that one is the new WWE Fan Central, one of the new elites. And this one, yeah, really rare old elite mock. Both of them are mock. We're going to get both of them open. We'll get, before we do though, I do want to go over these. I know we've been talking about getting these reviewed, but they're here before us, right? The Bludgeon Brothers. Now, for both of them, yes, I ended up going with Luke Harper, Elite Series 29, for, yeah, basically both, for the whole entire formula. One thing I did do though, I did swap out the legs on, uh, yeah, on both. Um, I put Elite Series 34 Hulk Hogan, the one that came with the pants. And again, the main reason why I did that, even though he had the same style of uh, pants, is because I like, anytime that I make customs, my main goal, my main thing is to still try to make a playable, right? So we don't have to worry about that paint rub. I mean, if you bend the, the knees or whatever, you're still going to get that playability. And as far as the design on the entire outfit, it's basically scattered at random. I did go based off Google Images. Google Images, you're my best friend. <laughs> I know I talk a lot about you, but that's basically what you're seeing right there on the shirt. It's just a bunch of scattered, splattered all throughout his shirt, the top, the sleeve right there. On the inside right there, it has like almost like a, I don't know if you'd call that like the number seven, but that's basically what I'm picking up from it. And then everywhere else, it's basically like a bunch of stitch work. For right here, I did sculpt these on. These are kind of like I think they're kick pads. I think that's what they do. they do. They put like kick pads over their pants. For um, Eric Rohn, same thing, right? Um, Luke Harper, Elite Series 29. I did, oh, before, I almost forgot to mention. <laughs> and I know I stressed about this head scan. This is that one that came from Elite Series 82. And I promise I'm not going to get crazy with it because you guys know how I feel about this head scan. But, right, I used the uh, head scan that came from that most recent basic series. And this is the old head. He's like, man, come on, dude. Why couldn't you put me on the Elite? Why couldn't you keep me on the Elite? So, again, I am such a big fan of this head scan this is basically what he's rocking right now so when i yeah when i picked this basic up man I, I couldn't tell you how happy i was what it was gonna do for these customs i mean it totally just gives it that overall complete fit feel for eric rowan same thing right elite series 29 luke harper uh lower legs hulk hogan we did the kick pads you're seeing almost the same similar style stitch work it is different um for the shirt though instead of like the splattered scattered that you're seeing right here on uh Luke Harper, he kind of has more of like a clean line design. It's going like literally right across the chest. He's got the letter B right there for Bludgeon Brothers. And it's like a hammer going down. Right here around the, um, yeah, if you look right here close around like the shoulder area, it does have like these gold studs on both sides and it continues throughout the belt. The belt is also sculpted on. One thing I definitely did, um, I cut halfway through so that way you could still get that playability right so you could still move the waist. So again, it, that's always an important thing for me. Anytime that I'm making cuts, I like to make them to be able to still pose them, you know, do figure matches, whatever the case might be. That's always my end goal. Now, right here, I would definitely want to get that WWE Fan Central out. This one I've been hyping for. <laughs> this right here. Um, there is another one coming. I think it's in a couple of days or it might be tomorrow. Um, I know my friend Gizmo. He came through again. Bro, <laughs> I love you, man. I know I talk a lot about you, bro, but you're amazing. Um, he came through on the other ones. Um, this one right here, I picked up from eBay, and you guys know, man, eBay is always killing you. Anytime that you want to try to pick something up for, like, decent price that's fairly recent, yeah, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it with eBay, so I did pay a little bit extra, but this one was probably, well, this one and the one that Gizmo was sending me is probably the ones that I've really, really just wanted from the set. Um, I believe, to my understanding, they should be hitting stores here fairly soon I, I know california is usually the first to always get it but if you haven't gotten a chance to pick these up yeah uh, <laughs> you're one of many because <laughs> really the only people that have gotten their hands on these is people that live in the california over in the west coast if you like west coast yeah you guys got a good over there right not just the beautiful beaches but all these sick figs let's get this one. Oh man this guy packaged it really good you're gonna get good feedback from me sir i can tell you that right now <laughs> this is sick, man. Oh, I'm hyped. I'm so hyped for this. So check this out. This is the new. So they've replaced. They have replaced the uh, old Toys R Us exclusives. This is the new. Oh, what's going on with this box, though? Oh, no, nah, man. That's not cool. That's not good. I mean, he packaged it, right? That was probably me. That had to have been the knife, right? I'll just, I'll put that on me. I mean, we're going to get this out. We're going to do a full-on review, so it's not like it matters, right? But what's going on, man? <laughs> I think that, I'm going to blame it on me. I'm not even going to put it on the seller. I have a gut feeling. Look what I use. I know people have been dropping that in the comment section. You guys are like, man, you need to start using box cutters, bro, because those knives that you're using are pretty dangerous. I should. Uh oh, there goes my bludgeon, brothers. I should invest in a in a box cutter. <laughs> I think not only would that be saving my figures, but also my uh, potentially my fingers, right? Because this right here, this one is like, nah, man, you ain't coming out. Oh, geez, we might have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to give it a quick pause because this one is really taped up.
Man, this guy put glue on it. It wasn't just taped up. He literally went out of his way to glue this box. I wonder if he knew that I was going to do an unboxing video on this. He's like, this guy's probably going to do an unboxing video. How about, oh, and he even put a little, oh, he did a little something extra. That's very nice of you. Again, another eBay pickup. Um, eBay's kind of, you can, you can easily consider eBay my best friend. We're going <laughs> to, we're still going to need the knife for this. Oh, man. I did not come prepared today. I, I was prepared. What am I saying? It's just someone trying to make my life a little bit more difficult. Difficult. But you know what? That's the fun of it, right? Getting this stuff out, seeing it for the first time. And this is the first time that I've seen this figure in. Oh, check this out. Uh, someone had said, why don't you just do both Matt and Jeff Hardy collection reviews at the same time? This is the reason why. This is the missing piece to that collection video. Well, this and Elite Series 58. So once Elite Series 58, we're going to gather them all up, right? Because that's what we do on the channel. We like to gather all this stuff up and put on this show for you. Matt Hardy, this man knows how to put on a show right there. This is from Series 2, going all the way. This is the beginning of Mattel, right? So again, we'll get this out. We'll do full-on review. We'll actually even do the collection video. Drop a... Drop it in the comments section which one you guys want to see first. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see the big show first, right? Come on. I think that's pretty, uh, that's a safe assumption. Bludgeon Brothers, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the costumes. Drop a like if you enjoyed today's unboxing. If you guys had a good time, right? Until next time, everybody.